Hello, my single solitary viewer, and welcome to the Clubhouse SMP Season 7. Things are starting to progress. This is day five. Day five already, and uh, all this time I've spent working on these spawn canals and filling these up and basically yeah it's not done there's still a lot of work to be done but we're starting to have enough of it complete that people can make plots and uh, start working on builds and uh, start making spawns a place that is happening in hip uh, but what i want to do now is based off of this which is i think the blocks i would like to make paths with so that it, it becomes like city like uh, a little bit like a little bit urban right ah uh, this is one of those relatively crappy bastions might as well see what i can get but it's not one that is filled with loot this is the kind of place where i can uh, lose everything Lose it all in lava. Oh, interesting. Should be pretty safe here. I can like the golden carrots. The chain, there's only two they can stay. Uh, I don't think there's any chests in here, right? Yes, there is a chest, okay. More arrows, that's good. Mending golden axe. I think I'll make room for the lodestone. And like there's a there's chests farther down here. Right? Curse of vanishing, so sad. Soul speed I'll take. Oh, the netherite upgrade. I will definitely I have to make room with that. Yeah, that can go. Lock of iron can become this. Snout armor trim. That's a decent amount of chains. Not enough of these though. By and large, this is not, this is not a great haul. I think this is it, bro. This is the haul. This is not the greatest fortress, uh, bastion, bastion. Although, netherite upgrade is not bad at all. Uh, that, it, it will come in handy at some point. And my inventory is pretty full, so I should probably be returning back with my ill-gotten gains. Uh, Illager hunters, assemble! Are, are you ready to uh, Illager hunt? All right, let's go. Oh, the, oh yeah, 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 this is it. This is it. This is the place. I'm gonna hang back. Oh, oh, oh fix this! You guys need to There's kill the guy with the head guys. in the Look air. This. Oh, there's a shell. Uh, Fuzi, you need a shell. Who's ah! dying? You're dying. Uh, I just didn't, didn't oh, okay. expect the surprise yeah, Vex. Uh. <laughs> oh, there's oh, there's, there's oh, nice. There's more thingies here. Oh, there's a, there's a bad life. Oh, there's a bad life. Oh, there it is. I, I'm taking some bookshelves. Oh, wait. It's a, it's like a library in a, in a dungeon. Oh, a thing. Oh, yeah, in a, yeah, in a thing. <laughs> Yeah, there's stuff below us. There's an Evoca down there. Like the one I'm ready. Is. Oh, here he is. Evil guys. Just gonna block him off. <laughs> ah! Wait, did we go here? There was some, there was some screw. There's only boobies. Mostly fangs. Oh, what's that noise? <laughs> Fang, that's, those are your friends. Uh, the noises yeah, of your friends, Fang. The <laughs> combat log. Please block me. <laughs> what? <Please>. What? <laughs> Please. 
Oh golly! Oh my! Oh, oh the, there's a bad dude up here. Bad dude. Oh dearie me! I threw I threw him on the ground. I got the head. Oh, I got it. <laughs> no, no, yeah. My inventory's full, so we were gonna have to divide. Oh, and th oh, there's way more here. Oh my God! Who left the water here is a genius. <laughs> There's so many of them. No, I see. Is there a chest? Go in, Brody. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? <laughs> oh, there's more LA's here. You're both fine. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm grabbing the candles. Oh, uh, I'm, I am too. No, no, you don't have the inventory space, you said. So I'm grabbing them. Oh, Mochi! Thank you! I think my alley's struggling at this job. Oh, I'm uh, not heading in the right direction, that's for sure. Anyone need Frost Walker? We're gonna start working on our bridge. And. Immediately, I am struck with the fact that I have not um, made all the blocks that I wanted in order to accomplish the task at hand. Well, here we are. We're finally starting to build the bridge. But unfortunately, building Flusemaker is just so completely incoherent that uh, trying to edit Whatever I'm babbling on about while building uh, is just too difficult to make it make sense. And so editing Flusemaker is jumping in. So the type of build I'm going for is a kind of industrial Victorian steam era type of build when they just started adding metallurgy into the buildings and making great archways out of iron and, and copper and bronze and every other type of material they could uh, make it you know th they could add and uh, this is what I'm going for here trying to mix uh, copper and prismarine in order to get that effect going um, on this side though it's a little bit too low I also wanted to make sure that the pathway would include the main blocks of the general paths in the area so that you know you can visually all the paths all the each side of the canals are always logically linked with what looks like paths so the retaining walls palette and the path palette are included in those bridges at least at the base and then at the top you get the metals the copper structure now on the second side, I decided to build it just a little bit higher, see how it would look. I've included a base of chiseled tuff to support the columns and it's starting to look a lot better. I'm placing also a copper trap door at the top and that is going to age in time. It's gonna become the copper oxidized green that we know. However, since we're gonna be repeating these bridges several times throughout the spawn area, I'm gonna mix in some differently aged copper here and there from time to time, mostly like the almost green step, the almost blue, um, just to mix in a little more diversity here to prevent things from uh, getting too boring. But otherwise, uh, the bridge is, is starting to look like what I was hoping it would, and uh, we'll be able to, well, get to work on replicating those. Okay, well, it looks like we might have our bridge template right here. Uh, that looks like it might be quite good. I think I think this is too much lantern. And I hope that it doesn't change the light level here, but we're looking at it. And we were hoping it doesn't make it a spawnable light level. So now I gotta thank Sakana, I gotta thank Mr. Pine, I gotta thank Vetmeyer, I gotta thank uh, Brodator, I gotta take... I unfortunately have to thank Failing Dutchman. 
and everyone else who contributed to bringing blocks to spawn in order to help me with this massive build. Of course, the faster it's completed, the faster people can move in, right? So hopefully I'll get more help. We have what I think this is going to make uh, spawn look pretty good with little paths. And now I, I need to start working on making plots for everyone to to know uh, where they put their shops and stuff, because otherwise it's going to be chaos, people placing things wherever, wherever which way. Uh, so uh, before the zombie comes to get me, I am going to uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode, but hopefully it's not going to be in too long. Keep an eye out for live streams, of course. But otherwise, thank you, my single solitary viewer. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Sponsored by the Flues Crew on Patreon.